Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the polyline command in Rhino. Um, but first, I want to show you the difference between line and polyline. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in line. And if you remember from the first video, when you start the line command and you left click to, I'd say, finish the line command, the command sequence stops. So, for example, if you wanted to draw a complete square in Rhino, um, and let's just use the ortho mode, Let's go up 40 inches. I have to right click or spacebar to start that same command. Do that all the way around. Um, all of these different lines are separate lines. And the one thing that's nice about the polyline is when you initiate the polyline command and hit enter, um, there's a few different things. Like I mentioned, a second sort of option comes up where you can click this. Um, another thing that you can do, so there's two things. You can either click this option to switch yes or to no to yes, or you see how P is underlined. You can type in P and it will change. Um, but I'm gonna go back to the no for right now and show you that when I start to draw, I will recreate the same thing, 40 inches up. Because it's a polyline, the polyline just means that there's more than one line segment in a continuous line. So I can go ahead and I can create this circle, or the, the square with one continuous motion, and it's, it's one shape rather than all separate different lines. Um, I always prefer to draw on polyline just so that way um, I'm making sure that the line segments are joined because in the future this is helpful for either hatching or taking an area measurement. You can easily just select this line and it'll um, calculate the area because it's all closed. Now, like I said before, when we initiate the polyline command, or any command in Rhino, there's like secondary commands that come up. So for instance, when I was drawing on this, or when I was drawing this square on the no, I'd say the no side, um, I had to draw everything individually. But if I typed in, or P, enter, and I were to draw this square 40 inches up, you can see that because it's closed, um, it is Rhino's automatically assuming that this will be a closed polyline. And you can click around and right click to enter. And now you have a closed polyline without actually really completing the sequence. So the difference between a line and a polyline is lines will all be separate segments and a polyline will be one continuous line. And this is super helpful down the road uh, for hatching or for area. Uh, if you're offsetting a line, for example, you can offset all of these lines in one um, sequence rather than offsetting them individually. 